Hi, this is Dorothy from TaiChiBozeman.com slash RawFoodBlog and from FaveDiets.com making some cucumber dip. And first I took one cucumber and peeled it and put it in the food processor. You can also finely dice it yourself. But now I'm going to get out all the liquid by putting it through a strainer. And the other way you could do this is to roll it in a, a clean kitchen towel. And I'm also pouring it into the blender so it can go in my green shake later. I'm going to make some cucumber strawberry smoothie later. But the reason why you want to get all the liquid out is so that your dip isn't a mass of um, cucumber liquid. And then I'll just press it down, getting a lot of cucumber juice out of there. Does the camera want to come closer so it can show how much juice is coming out? So this is really worth saving to me. This cucumber is so good in a green smoothie. And I also salted that cucumber before I um, put it through the food processor. So that looks like about the last of the juice. And then I'm going to add it to my sour cream. Now, you could use regular sour cream if you're not trying to be raw. Or you could use um, mayonnaise, like fat-free mayonnaise would be a really good diet thing. This is actually almond sour cream. And what I did was I soaked, um, soaked almonds for one day and sprouted them for one day. And then ground it up in the blender with just not too much water and strained it and then let it set out for a day. And you can see this on another one of my videos um, called cashew mayonnaise. And any white nut will do almonds, cashews, or macadamias. This is almonds. So there's my sour cream. And it had a tablespoon of lemon in it to help it ferment. And it just sits on the counter for eight hours and then you've got your your sour cream. So there's a cup of, of almond sour cream and one zucchini, cucumber. <laughs> one cucumber, sorry it looks like zucchini, <laughs> and then about two tablespoons of chopped onion which you could have put in the food processor with your cucumber. <laughs> And then you can add your spices. And uh, like I said, I already put the um, salt in. So I'm going to add a few of my fresh herbs, which are uh, cilantro and basil and a little bit of mint, uh, pineapple basil. That's what that was. And then a tablespoon and a half of crushed dill. A teaspoon and a half, excuse me. The dill makes it amazing. And there's your dip, and you'll want to chill this. Raw food is always so pretty. I've never gotten over how beautiful raw food is, because look at all the colors. And you can use this with your favorite raw vegetables, like carrots or squash or some raw barbecue chips, which is on another video I made. You could roll it in a lettuce leaf or a spinach leaf, roll it up, and serve this at your favorite, oopsie, serve this at your favorite uh, meal. Everyone will love it, especially at parties. To your health from Dorothy at TaiChiBozeman.com slash raw food blog, and also from FaveDiets.com. Enjoy your cucumber dip.